Hey guys, welcome back to NBA 2K23, or 2K24, I'm sorry, with, um, my career. And we are going to go ahead real quick and get everything trailblazers, because that is what we want. Uh, let's go for a uh, red, white, and blue. With a red rim, that works. Okay. It'd be nice if it would switch everything over here, too. But unfortunately, it does not. Um, actually, nope, that doesn't do anything in here. Okay, that's just there. Okay. Um, well, let's, I guess, head into park we'll head to deuces we'll see what's going on out here and then we will check our uh okay well there we go ready to test your metal against them uh, prove yourself worthy on the court Okay, this is our fourth game, and we're against uh, the Pacers. Let's go. Chris Depps, Porzingis is out there with Williams, and it's Jacobson in at the point. It is still early in the season, Greg. We'd, we'd like to think we have teams figured out, but but do we really? Not at all, Kevin. This is the time period where fan bases freak out because of records. It's still okay. a lot of identity to be found with every team. Shots good by Turner. That was not good. Miles Turner is on the interior. He knows he has the size and length to dominate. I don't know why they put me on him. That wasn't my guy. MP against Halliburton. In the corner. Tatum with it. Alright, that'll work. You know what? That will work. I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to Not my guy, not my problem. That doesn't typically end well. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. MP against Halliburton. There we go. Yeah, when Williams gets positioned inside, he just looks to dominate physically. We'll get those assists going again. Here is something Greg from Pacers history. They were a dynasty at one point, and you remember it well. Yeah, you're talking about the ABA days, but it's true. The, the Pacers were a dominant team before the merger. They won three titles in four seasons just before. Nice. Boy, what a display of toughness from Kristaps Porzingis. He's a rock down low. Here's Halliburton. A ten footer finds the target. Okay, that was a good shot. When there's a pick set up, gotta fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. And that one drops for We're gonna get uh Porzingis to double digits real quick. The Pacers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Brown outside. That's the free fly. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Outside Tatum. Oh, I had that. Come on. Halliburton against MP to the inside. Here's Williams. Good and it's MP picking up the assist. Okay, that's still an assist. That is second bucket of the game to go. Impressive start here. That's five straight makes to start the game. We are up by four. Healed against Tatum. 
Halliburton passes to Brock. Outside for Halliburton. Lock at six. Over MP. And it's Halliburton missing. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Here's Williams. Again, the zone. That's an assist. Minute 53 to go. We're up by six. Timeout, Indiana. And we sit down until the second quarter. We're up by 10. He'll bring it up for Boston. 10 point lead. This is their biggest. This their first chance this season playing the pace. Oh. Two teams at vastly different ends of the standings last year, but they played each other to a draw. Again on the wing, he's joined by Brown. Williams is out there with Porzingis and it's Jacobson at the point. Yep. I couldn't stay in front of him. It's time now. To That's hear normal. Reporter David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum says, well, nice. Halftime is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David, thanks. Nee Smith, the pass to heel. Misses the three. Austin leading by 10. MP outside. Pass to Williams. Good, and it's That'll work. They can ignore my pass if they're going to do stuff like that. I got no problem. Halliburton with it. Now guarded by Porzingis. Now, here's Neesmith. Not a lot of room. And he gets the bucket. That's just good awareness. Yep. Defense broke down there. Immediately love the unselfishness. Last game for the Celtics. They pick up the win against the Washington Wizards. And really showed their depth when they needed it. Nice. Having to manufacture points. Well, how about the job they got from their bench? That productivity was a major part of the outcome. And Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. And they've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process, as excruciating as it may be. Here's Jacobson. And That's a foul on Maturin. We got the first. We got the second. Okay. Play the five, but with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. It wasn't the best of seasons, Doris, for the Indiana Pacers last year, but there are reasons for optimism. And we're gonna sit. And here we go, second half. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. And it's our ball. Backcourt pair for him, Halliburton and Brown. In the post, it's Toppin and Turner. And it's healed in at the three spot. What you know is Tyrese Halliburton is going to give you a day's work on defense. Wow. So good at contesting without fouling. Pacers trail by eight. Got a piece of it. And here's the fast break. Here's Jacobson. Excellent defense. Really? From Halliburton. Indiana's gotten fewer than half of their three pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Healed outside. Over Tatum. And that one hits back iron and smothered him on that mid-range Well, he sees the play developing, takes care of his responsibility. Okay, pass leading to foul. No assist, but that's fine. The, the, the 
He'll get the first. He'll get the second. We're up by 10. The postseason, though, last year, a little different story. Kevin, they certainly have a coaching staff that is highly analytics driven, which obviously means very heavy emphasis on those three point shots. Okay. Right at the rim. But, you know, typically in the postseason, defenders take away your best options. The Pacers have gone three for three at the line tonight. The first free throw is good. Bruce Brown taking two shots. Hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. Of course, we've talked about Boston's young talent for so long. They've now become battle-tested veterans. And it's incredible how young that that experience has taken hold. They have had players build big roles. I get that lag right before I shoot, and it messes everything up. Here's Jacobson, and he finishes the go. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Toppin. He can't get it to go. Nice D from Porzingis. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Williams finds Brown. Toppin against Porzingis. The pass to Jacobson. Get in there. Kept alive by Boston. The kick out to Brown. Porzingis passes to Jacobson. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know okay. what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. One easy looks. Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. And that size, Porzingis. And Porzingis. We'll get him two more points. Pacers trailed by 11. Time called here, Indiana. Okay, 224 to go in the third. Timeout, Pacers. We're up by 11. Okay. Five minutes to go in the game. We're up by 12. MP is out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Williams at the five spot. That's the Boston Five. Brown, no good. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Neesmith can't get it to go. Celtics leading by 12. Brown the pass to Jacobson. Good D by heel. Yep, I'll take the foul. So valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. The nine-foot shot. Well, to me, that's the wingspan of Jalen Brown bothering shooters. This guy gets right in their space and throws them off balance. MP outside, inside, Williams. There we go. Ten assists. Jacobson's got ten assists here tonight. So active. Halliburton kicks to Turner. Healed outside. Just five to shoot. Rejection by Tatum. There's a pride to the defensive end of the floor. There we go. Breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Celtics. Uh, they made a point to protect the rim. Challenging shots all came long, and the block total is off the charts. The other thing that jumps out about their performance tonight, the amount of steals really pressuring those ball handlers. MP deciding where to go with it. And it's good. Two points. Another assist. Has got 22 points. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around. We're up by 18. Oh, Turner in position. Hammers the alley through. 
my goodness. Mr. Turner as a vertical threat. Look out below. MP outside. And it's Williams throwing it Beautiful. Down. Hey, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Kyrie. The shot's good from Halliburton. Terry's Halliburton. That thin Bruce frame Brown. didn't matter a lick. Rushes off the contact. Love the grittiness there. MP dishes to Williams. Here's healed. They get it back. Banked in. On okay. The well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. Two minutes remaining in the game. MP Two against minutes. Halliburton. Three, three, three. Jacobson, the pass to Brock. Kicks it out to MP. Can't hit from the elbow. I gotta try it, right? I have to. The ball here for the Indiana Pacers. It's a 14-point game. To the wing on the left. Three-pointer. A nice shot by Nelson. Okay, good shot. That is about recognition right there from Tyrese Halliburton. He recognizes the overcommitment, makes the defense pay. The Celtics have gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Williams finds MP. Over in the quarter, Przingis. And he banks in the layer. Przingis has got 24. Absolutely incredible what Christoph Porzingis can do. He's over seven feet. He's got an all-around game, and he's getting to every aspect of it right now. Okay, we're still up by 11. Just some soft defense on that drive. A little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Jacobson, the pass to Williams. Dishes to Tatum. It's hauled in by Brunk. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a and Pacers ball. I tried. Toppins checked in for Neesmith. Here's Halliburton. Launches a three. A putback. And Tatum pulls it down. They're this close to putting it away. Yeah, they don't need to do anything special. Just take time off the clock. Tatum has worked very hard. So he should be shooting three, right? And we're going to sit. And we get the game by 12. Okay, we've got a playmaking badge. I've got some fantastic news. We've got interest from Ruffles in a partnership. So bring your appetite and let's get this deal done. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Twenty five for twelve assists in a game. Great team win tonight. Very balanced offense. What was the difference for you guys? Uh, just, just trusting one another out there, you know? Making an extra pass, you know, coming together as a team. You know, this group as a collective is really coming together, and you saw the results tonight. You were dropping dimes like Steve Nash Come out on. there. <laughs> what did you see in the defense? Uh, you know, man, I just felt like we had good matchups that we could take advantage of. My job is to get my teammates the ball in spots where they can be successful, and they clearly were this evening, man. They made your boy look good out there. They sure did. Okay, we definitely need this one. Uh, we're going to do vice grip. Okay, we're going to move our close shot up by two. And this is where we're going to end today's episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is All Stream That. Hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you get notified every time I post a video and follow me on Twitter, Discord, and on the secondary channel. The links are in the description below. Have a wonderful day.